Hi, my name is Mark Needham and this is the first in a series of videos where we're going to learn how to build a real-time analytics application on top of web server access logs. So let's start by looking at an architecture diagram of the whole system that we're going to build, uh, which we've got on the screen now. But for this video, we're just going to focus on three, these three components. So we've got the uh, the HTTP server up in the top left hand side, that's going to be generating our log files and the log shipper will then take the entries from those log files and put them into Apache Kafka. Now normally you've probably got, you've probably got those logs already sitting around somewhere, but for the purpose of this demo we're going to use a tool called the fake Apache log generator. Uh, and now I've already downloaded that to my machine, so let's go over to the terminal and have a look at how we can use it. What we're going to do now is we're going to run it really slowly, so we're going to generate one message every half a second. So if we run that, you can see the messages are coming and you can see they're in a in the pretty standard um, format for the uh, for the Apache HTTP server. Uh, and so now I guess we can stop it uh, and let's write the command again. But this time, instead of just printing it out to the terminal, uh, we're going to write it to the file and uh, put it to the terminal. So we'll write it into the access logs folder. And now let's run that again. Uh, so you can see now the messages are coming through much more quickly. Uh, and if we stop that, we can now have a look at the file. So you can see, there we go, there we've got one log file in that folder. Uh, so let's run it again. Uh, and while it's running, we're going to open up Visual Studio Code and have a look at a Docker Compose file that's going to spin up our Kafka instance. So you can see here at the top, we've got a Zookeeper. So Kafka is uh, using um, Zookeeper. So we've got Zookeeper. We've then got our Kafka config uh, as well. And then if you scroll down a bit to the end, uh, we've got config for a tool called FileBeat. Now, FileBeat is a tool from Elastic, which they describe as a lightweight shipper for logs. So basically, it will tail a log file that you provide, or log directory that you provide. So you can see there, we've, we've mounted the access logs uh, folder. And so it's going to pick up all the files in there and send the entries in that file somewhere. So we have to define that. And so we define that using the config file on the line below. And if we now open up um, FileBeat.yaml, so we'll open that up and then let's just put it on the right hand side so we can see it side by side. Uh, so you can see here in the YAML file, we need to specify basically two things at a minimum. So we need an input uh, and an output. So our input is var log Apache 2, which is the folder that's been um, mounted um, from access logs folder where, we, where we're writing uh, our fake logs to. Uh, and then the output is going to be the Kafka uh, and then a topic called access. And you can see we've also specified where the Kafka broker lives. Um, so now if we come out of there, go back to our terminal uh, and we'll run um, Docker Compose up to get that running. Uh, and let's put that on the left-hand side of the screen. And on the right-hand side of the screen now, you can see that we've got uh, a consumer uh, for that Kafka topic. So let's run that. And it'll take a few seconds to pick it up. But now you can see, look, all those log entries are flying through. Um, it's a bit hard to see exactly what's going on. So let's just stop that. Uh, and we'll update our command to just pick up one uh, entry uh, from that Kafka topic. Uh, and we'll pipe that through JQ so that we can see what it looks like. And so you can see here, look, we've got the message. You see the message is there in the middle. And then there's a bunch of metadata that FileBeat has added. Uh, so hopefully that video has given you a good idea of uh, how to get data from your log files into Kafka. Uh, and in our next video, we're going to look at how we could pull apart the log message um, so that we could have it have its different components uh, available uh, as a message in Kafka. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you in that video.